Okay, so I did not expect to be recording this weekend, but here we are. Let me quickly catch you up on recent events and how this episode came about really quickly. So the next set after Streets of New Capenna is Commander Legends Dungeons & Dragons Battle for Baldur's Gate. Yeah, that's a mouthful. Uh, I've got to figure out a shorter uh, version of that. Maybe just Commander Legends Baldur's Gate or just Baldur's Gate. I don't know. Anyways, that spoiler season does not start for another month. In fact, I think it's exactly a month from today on May 16th is when that is officially supposed to start. So we were supposed to have a good break between Streets of New Capanna spoiler season just wrapping up and getting the pre-cons, um, you know, the rest of the pre-cons that have not been leaked next week. But um, there was a massive leak. And I am not talking about the leaks from Streets of New Capanna. I'm talking about a new leak from Battle for Baldur's Gate. Apparently there's a TikTok video out there where someone gets their hands on five packs of Battle for Baldur's Gate. They open the packs and show off every single card, and now 50 or so cards have been leaked from this set. Now, I worked very hard during the last spoiler season, and I am glad that many of you out there seem to enjoy a lot of the quick takes, but to be completely honest, I'm, oh, I'm kind of worn out. So I'm not planning on just going full force into all of these new cards with just a ton of quick takes right away. I am going to figure out a different approach that, well, doesn't involve me losing a lot of sleep. Regardless, obviously I decided to do an episode today because I'm making one exception because of one very special card. Because first up, there's Wayfarer's Bobble. That's right, Wayfarer's Bobble is getting a reprint. This might be one of the most beautiful pictures I have ever seen. Yeah, needless to say, no matter what happened today after I saw this picture, I needed to get the good news out there, so... Yeah, I am super excited about this. My goodness, this card has been not budget for such a long time now, and we'll talk about that, but with this actual reprint in the set, and again, this is at common. This is at common. So this very well could drop underneath $1, and I can start using it again in my deck text, and I cannot wait for that to happen. I mean, my goodness. Keep reprinting this card, Wizards. Please, thank you for this. Oh my gosh. So yeah, obviously this is massive news, and uh, I'm going to be taking the rest of the weekend off finally to celebrate. Now, I actually might have seen this coming a while back. Okay, not not that these cards would be leaked, and not that Wayfarer's Bobble would be, you know, one of the leaked cards a month before the actual spoiler season starts, but... A while back, I did an episode where I talked about a quote from Gavin Verhey, senior magic designer at Wizards of the Coast, that has a YouTube channel called Good Morning Magic. This quote came after getting feedback from the first Commander Legends set. So the quote reads, Second, and on just a pure card discussion axis, I would probably include more reprints. There are a ton of cards players have been asking for in Commander Legends, and those kind of sets are a great home for them. So yeah, I think it's pretty fair to say that we can expect more reprints in this new Commander Legends set with Battle for Baldur's Gate. Now obviously, this quote itself does not guarantee that Wayfarer's Bobble would be reprinted, but... While Gavin was saying that, quote, the card that was shown on the screen was in fact Wayfarer's Bobble. So yeah, apparently a card that many players out there have been asking for a reprint, and yes, this set is a great home for it. So again, with this reprint, hopefully Wayfarer's Bobble comes back into budget territory. I mean, okay, it's like $2 or so right now, which is better than it has been. It got up to like $4 at one point, and actually, let's talk about the numbers really quick. So, as you can see on Scryfall, on the right, we can see all the prices for the different versions of Wayfarer's Bobble. The most recent printing, which the image is what you see right here, and actually the exact same art we're going to be seeing in the new reprint, was from Forgotten Realms Commander. And obviously, yes, it was nice to get that reprint, very nice to get that reprint, but it was in a Commander Precon, so it's not going to have the same supply as an actual set would be. Or, should I say, a reprint in a set like it's going to be in Battle for Baldur's Gate. And actually, I probably should have pointed that out earlier, but the actual set code and the numbering for the card does appear properly on the new Wafer's Bobble, so it is going to be in the main set. And obviously, before the Forgotten Realms Commander printing of Wayfarer's Bobble, we actually got it on the list as well, which again, is nice to get some extra supply, but again, an actual printing in a set is going to make a much bigger difference. And before it was put on the list, I mean, its last printing was in Commander Anthology Volume 2, which was all the way back in 2018, which 
Actually, I believe it was in June of 2018, which ironically was right before I started this channel. And up until that point, it really had only seen reprints again in Commander Precons, except for a modern master set in 2015, which is a, you know, full reprint set. And yeah, the actual only full set that this has really seen a printing in before that was Fifth Dawn, which was its original printing all the way back in 2004. So this is a first reprinting in an actual new set, not just a full reprint set like Modern Masters, ever. Now, obviously, I'm not an MTG Finance, but yeah, I've played Magic for quite some time, and I think that this new printing is going to have a massive impact on the price. I mean, when this channel started and I first showed Wayfarer's Bobble on an episode, it was 12 cents. And I was definitely happy with that price, and I was even happier to include it in a ton of decks, and then unfortunately it didn't stay budget forever. Because yeah, if we quickly take a look at MTG stocks from the time this channel started until now, well, the price obviously has gone up quite a bit. I mean, at one point back in July of 2021, this card was over $4 up from being just a 12 cent card. Then the price dropped down thanks to that reprinting in one of the Commander Precons in Forgotten Realms. But still, as you can see, I mean, the average price is 262, the market price is 220, not quite underneath my $1 budget. I mean, a while back, I even made an episode saying goodbye to Wayfarer's Bobble because it had gotten too expensive for my budget Commander decks. But I am hoping with this reprinting that I can say hello to the bobble once again and I can say the phrase, first up, there's Wayfarer's Bobble again in, well, any and every budget commander deck that can utilize this amazing card. So again, although there are a ton of other cards to talk about from all the other images that were shown off in that TikTok video, well, Wayfarer's Bobble is the most important one to me, and the only one that I will take time during this weekend where I told myself I was not going to be working at all. But for my old friend Wayfarer's Bobble, of course I made that exception. It's been far too long, and it's good to have you back. And of course, thank you so much for joining me today on this episode. I hope you're as excited about this news as I am, and of course, as always, thanks again, and have a good one.